Hi, I'm Brian Chong. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we'll discuss about SQL accounting software, e-invoice module, consolidated e-invoice. You should know that if your customer do not require e-invoice, you can do consolidated e-invoice, meaning instead sending each invoice to LSTN to be validated as an e-invoice, you can actually consolidate all the invoice within the same month and send to LSTN before 7th of the next month to become one consolidated e-invoice. Please make sure your company do not fall under those industries they are not permitted to do consolidated e-invoice. Example, aviation industry, construction industries, and so on. Let's get started. For consolidated e-invoice, I'll use cash sales to do the example. But before that, maybe you can actually go to customer, maintain customer, maintain a customer called general public. This general public, you can put the IC number as 12.0. TIN number will use the general public TIN number. Let's go to sales, cash sales. You can do the same things in sales invoice, no problem. Let's go to new, select the customer, general public. Remember, you can do this for normal customer as long as they do not request e invoice and you do not fall under those industries that are not permitted to do consolidated e invoice. Go to Plus, select the item, save it, let's say another customer, select the item, save it. The difference between cash sales and normal invoice is, if you create normal invoice, customer payment, you need to go to customer payment to key in and do knockoff with an invoice. But for cash sales, you can see that there is a pop-up screen to allow you to do the customer payment knockoff directly. You can select the payment method. Example, I select cash in the hand, click OK. It will actually generate a customer payment and knockoff have been done. To do consolidated invoice, basically you just need to go to the browsing screen. Example, this is the two invoice that I want to console. I just click this icon and click consolidate e-invoice. I can select the date range, example only today. Click this, I apply. I can see this two invoice, I click it and click next. Remember, in consolidated e-invoice, the item description is not your item or service. It's a list of all your invoice that you want to do consolidate. Then click submit. This consolidated invoice has been validated. Then your job has been done. Close, close. And you click refresh. You can see that these two have been validated. So this is how easy to do consolidated e-invoice in SQL accounting software. Please join my social media, Facebook forum, WhatsApp channel to get the latest information regarding SQL accounting software and also my latest sharing regarding e-invoice. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.